Welcome to a podcast named Tim. It's Zach here for another Star Wars book review. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, Star Wars Alphabet Squadron Shadowfall. It's the second in the trilogy uh, of the sh- the Alphabet Squadron trilogy, uh, again by Alexander Freed. And uh, there will be, I guess, some spoilers. I'm going to more talk about the book generally. But um, currently on Goodreads it has a 3.7. That's with over 1,000 uh, ratings. And uh, tells, you know, we're following up on Alphabet Squadron after the f- first book. They are, uh, again, going after Shadow Wing. And uh, basically there's a, uh, there's a lot going on in this book. There's a big trap they try and set on a planet called Troyth. Things don't go right. The squad kind of breaks up. Um, and we kind of get a lot of some background for, for uh, some of the other stories. Uh, for some of the other characters, and if you've never read these books or the Alphabet Squadron books, I did the audio book as, as always for me. But um, Alphabet Squadron is called that because it has all of the f- different alphabet letters. It's an A wing, a B wing, you know, X wing, Y wing, etc. And so one of each crew, a unique concept. And um, this book shows to me what's great about Star Wars. And what I mean is, there's a different, Star Wars is able to lend itself to so many different um, types of stories. I know most people probably just think, you know, of Star Wars as one thing, but there's a lot of different avenues and things that they tackle. And the Alphabet Squadron books are much more, and and everything by Alexander Freed, are very uh, troop-heavy, very uh, war-focused, kind of the average, everyday uh, soldiers and people that are involved in these wars. I mean, they're, they're still bigger, you know, big, uh, bigger than life characters, but they're not, you know, they're not Jedi. They're not, uh, they're just average people in many respects. And I don't like the war focus books. Um, I don't like the troops and squads like, and to be fair, and, and I'm not saying Alexander Freed is a bad author. Cause I actually think he's good. I just don't care for his stories. Um, he did uh, Star Wars Battlefront, which I think is my least favorite of the canon novels. I did somewhat like the original Alphabet Squadron book, but this one, I I had to pause and come back to it and pause and take time off. I just could never really get into the book. And there's just so many characters. It jumps around a lot in that regard. Um, and that's part of my issues, issue when you do these uh, squad-based books. Um, there's just so many characters you have to kind of keep track of and so many plot points and um, it always just evolves into like, you know, I don't want to say 10 pages because I was listening to it, but like, all right, the next 10 minutes is just going to be some battle and you're just banked right and then did this. And and to be fair, I've never read the X-Wing series. So um, what I like about Star Wars is more of the Jedi, of the political intrigue, of the, the battle between good and evil. And, and But to be fair, I love the Thrawn books, and those are much more uh, Navy-based, you know, battles. But it's got more of a, it's honestly got more of a Star Trek vibe to it um, in some respects, like a Star Trek kind of uh, Sherlock Holmes vibe because he knows everything, and you're just trying to see this this wonder kid figure out, you know, everything. Um, this book did have some interesting concepts where they found, you know, they found a uh, some kind of Sith temple and... Um, ITO, which was like a, which was a, a torch droid that they converted to a, a medical droid. He's trying to describe to Yurka Quell how it, it's looking like she, he wants. He's trying to describe like the force in a technical term in some respects. He's like saying that this um, shrine or whatever it was um, t- tower thing has. Uh, it has like biometric sensors to it, and it wants you to elicit a certain type of reaction in order to open it up. So that was kind of an interesting concept. We do find out one of our main characters, um, Chastna Chaddock, who kind of a rocker. She's got always blaring music, uh, and she's on the cover. I guess that's her on the cover art for this one. Um, she was apparently a part of a cult at one point, and uh, she finds her way back into another cult. Um, uh, you have... Uh, Will, who is kind of our just kind of plucky hero in some respects, although he's a little defeated at this point, but he's kind of the 
the, the Luke Skywalker as far as a starry-eyed farm boy in some respects. And, um, you know, you have Neff Tenzin, who's kind of just a old-school... Uh, he's kind of our rogue. He's kind of our Han Solo. He's kind of out for himself. They're, like, the elements are there for these books. Because you have Eric Yerka Quell, who, you know, participated in Operation Cinder. And for those who don't know, Operation Cinder was where they burned down, you know, basically the Empire burned down everything after they fell because the Emperor didn't want them to have anything. And she participated in it, but she lied about it. And now she's working with the good guys, but they don't know that they find out in this book that she participated and they're, they, they're done with her. And actually at the end of the book, she returns a shadow squad or shadow wing, which is the, their evil counterpart. It's their, the mirror image, you know, and uh, she's she's part of the reason she goes back. One, no one in, in, in the Alphabet Squadron wants her anymore. But also she finds out her mentor, Major Keys, who I think is actually a colonel uh, at this point, is, uh, is still alive and still part of the Empire after he said he was going to leave. So there is a third book. I might reread the first and second one. The third one's coming out March uh, 2021. I might reread the first and second one just to give it one more college try. Um to get into it and hopefully so I can appreciate the third one that much more but as it stands now this is a bottom five of of canon books for me and again it's it's very well written I just this isn't my my this isn't my hashtag my Star Wars uh, but there's a lot of people who I know who really enjoy this book and enjoy these types of stories but those are my general thoughts um, I, I, if you want that kind of stuff squad based uh, everyday soldier stories. This is a great pickup. If you're more into Jedi and stuff, not your pickup. Not something I'd recommend. Uh, right now, I have started uh, Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising. So I will be hopefully getting that out by the end of the year. Um, and just let me know your thoughts on this movie. Of course, uh, subscribe, check out the channel, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time here on a podcast named Tim.